in this video, I'm gonna show you the basics on how to create a 80 synth pop, synth wave, whatever beat in our studio. What's up, welcome to another video and today we're gonna to create a beat which is inspired by, what was it again? Mojabi Ghost from Bad Bunny and Tiny. I think this is an awesome track and we're gonna create something very similar today. So let's get started. So first you want to adjust the BPM between 115 and 130 BPM. But in this case, let's say we pick 122, which is I think exactly the BPM from the track from Tiny and Bad Bunny. And first I'm going to start off with the drums, which are basically the fundamentals of a beat like this. And for this beat, I'm going to pick a sample pack specifically created for Synthwave. So I found this bass drum, and in most of the cases, this is just a simple bass drum rhythm. So it sounds like this. And I want to add a top kick as an additional layer. I just want this one. And I think I'm going to use this one and add some reverb. Sounds way much better and more attacky. And right now it's time to add the snare. And this is the most fundamental thing when it comes to this drum. So I found this short snare, this one. I'm going to add it at the second kick. So the second one and the fourth one. For now it still sounds way too dry and I would really advise you to add multiple snares. And also this one sounded way too short, so I found this long snare. And right now we're going to add more details to this rhythm by using some symbols. So simply add this rhythm right now. And right now we want to add more details by adding percussive sounds. And in this case, I want to add percussive sounds which contain a lot of mid frequencies, also similar to the beat from Tiny. So I found those two percussions, this one and this one. For right now, the percussion is just a little bit too long. So I just wanted to play the note which I've draw in when it comes to the length. So I'm going to create a square. Or right now it sounds like this. So again, it contains a lot of mid frequencies. When it's overlapping with the kick, it could sound really messy. So make sure to apply this trick. And for this tom, I'm going to add this one right here. And again, we want to add some more high frequencies. So we're going to add a ride. And we're going to layer this with the kick. All right, now we link it to the mixer and we want to make sure it's all leveled and balanced very good. So right now I think the drums sound pretty good and right now it's time to add the first melody layer. And right now I just want to start off with a simple bass layer. So I'm going to add the Korok MS-20V and I just want to scroll through the presets. This one sounds really cool. So we start off with a bass, this one. And we're going to create this beat in D minor. So it's this skill, select view, select scale highlighting and then select D minor natural. And let's start off with A. So as you can hear, this bass is bending really crazy. So I want to take advance of this. So let's create something which goes upwards like this. So this layer sounds really, really cool, really analog. I really like it. So I'm going to add a second layer based on this bass line. So when it comes to adding this 80 sin vibe to the beat, you make sure you add some saw inspired synths. The synths from Arturia are perfect when it comes to creating those types of beats. So let's say we select the matrix 12v2, and then we say we select, let's say classic solid. Perfect when it comes to creating a beat like this. So let's start off at A, and we're gonna create a simple chord progression. And then later on, we're gonna arpeggiate it. Something like this. Right now you select options, then say we select tools, arpeggiate, let's have a listen. Oh. We could also, for example, flip this one to normal. I really like this one, the, the flip one. And then let's pitch it up one octave. That sounds beautiful. 
and I really like this layer, so let's clone it. And we're gonna create two layers using the exact same sin, which is also pretty easy if you're just starting out. And then you just disable it. And we're going to use the exact same nodes as we've used for the previously created copy question. And I think I will copy over this one, like this. <laughs> So this is the final melody. So right now I want to add another chord. So let's say we use the DX7. And I found this P and Night preset. Also sounds very analog, 80s inspired. And then let's copy this chord progression to this one. And let's tweak it. So just another layer to spice it up, especially when it comes to arranging this beat in the end. So let's say we use another bass layer. So multiple basses in these types of beats are used very, very often. So let's use the Korg again. So let's use this brass, this one. And let's say it's just playing the root notes. So just playing these notes, like just, just copy them over, paste them to this one and I'll make them longer. I mean, pitch this one up one octave. But right now it contains some high frequencies, maybe too much. So let's adjust the brightness. That also sounds really cool, but right now it's missing some low frequencies. So let's say we use Analog Lab 5 and also let's search for a random preset. So I found these base Suburban and then just let's copy it over. This one, paste it into this one. Contains a lot of low frequencies. And right now we want to add a simple counter melody. So let's say we use the Korg MS20 again. So I found this Cloud Pillows preset. So let's say we start off at F. So again, a simple counter melody. And in almost all of those beats, a roll is used. So now let's try this one into the arrangement and I'm going to pick a perfect roll sample. So most of the cases, this is just called a fill. But I think right now there is just too much going on. So I'm going to shorten it up. E3 generic like this. That sounds really cool. And I think that's also it when it comes to adding all the layers. Right now I'm gonna arrange this beat, finish it, and show you the final result. So this is the final beat. I really enjoyed creating this one. So I've mixed all the elements, added some simple reverbs, added applied some leveling, and that's basically it. So nothing too advanced. So let's have a listen to the final result. And I hope you enjoy it. So it's a very similar arrangement to the track from Tiny and the Bunny. Melody's coming in. Also really, really like the pitch bass, really unique. Phil, there's a bass playing, could be a pre-hook or something. Sub looks coming in again. Counter melody. The chorus coming in again. Creates kind of a build up.
that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this beat also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for new videos so in most cases i'm creating videos about afrobeats i'm a piano reggaeton but sometimes i really like to switch it up so with else being said i hope you learned something for this have a great day and create some awesome beats see you